Welcome to the Axel Archive Archiware setup video. Here we will look at how to set up Axel to integrate with Archiware P5 software. We will also look at the basic setup of Archiware. Please note this is a very high level outline. For more details of Archiware, please contact your local Archiware partner. This video also assumes that the Archiware Archive module has already been installed in the Axel system. Starting in the Axel Admin catalog page, under the list of catalogs, click on the Add New Archive button. This will open the Axel Archive configuration page. From the Archive selection, select Archiware as the type of archive required. This will show the specific configuration panel for Archiware. Here the archive name needs to be entered. This is the name of the archive which will appear to the Axel user when archiving clips. The client name is a setting in Archiware in the Client tab. It can be any name. In this case, it is localhost. Please note that this has nothing to do with the network term, localhost. The next setting is the Archiware plan ID. This is the process which Axel will communicate with in Archiware, and it will be the plan that Archiware uses to back up the media files. The number is generated automatically in Archiware. Then the IP address of the Archiware server needs to be set. In this demo case, it is the same machine as Axel, so the network term localhost is being used. The port which is being used to communicate with Archiware is then set. The default is 9001. This is the typical port which is used, but it can be changed in Archiware if the port is being used by another application. The username and password then need to be entered. The details for these fields are also created in Archiware. Once the setup is complete, clicking Add Archive will set up the archive configuration in Axel. From here, the archive permissions need to be set for the users who will be allowed to archive. If we look at the Axel user interface when the user selects a clip and then clicks the Action menu, the Add to Archive function will be visible. Before we do the archive itself, we will jump to the Archiware Jobs Monitor page. This shows the details of the most recent archive jobs. Now back in Axel, we will send the selected clip to Archive. As always, Axel will start a background task to send the file to Archiware. The Archiware system will then pick up the files to be archived and copy them to the archive destination. In the Archiware interface, we can see the job running. Now we're going to send some more files to the archive, this time two files. We'll see a new job in the Archiware interface as both files are backed up. Notice the archive triangles in Axel are now shown, showing that the files have been archived. Additionally, Archiware will have sent Axel the details of where the files have been backed up to. This can be seen by selecting or opening the archived file and scrolling down to the archive metadata area. We can see the user who ran the job, when the job was run, and most importantly, the tape numbers for where the media was stored. Archiware allows for single or duplicate backups of all their jobs. Now the archive job is complete, the archived files can be vacated from Axel, clearing space on the primary media storage. Once vacated, the archive triangles will change to dark grey. The details of the file are still viewable. The file will still appear in search results, and as Axel manages the browse copy of the file, the clip can still be played. To recall media, the user should select the files to be recalled and select Restore from Archive. Axel will instruct Archiware to retrieve the media from the library and put it back in the original location on the storage. Looking at Archiware during the recall, we can see the job running in the Jobs Monitor. The archive triangle will change from grey to transparent once more.